All right, I'm Mike Bennett. Uh, this is the Savage Gear 3D Craw. It's an actual 3D scan of a live crawfish. What we did is we put air-filled claws on the bait, a air-filled carapace, so this craw will float if there's no hooks in it. We fish it on a stand-up jig head, so it'll always be in a defensive position with its claws up. We also have a weighted swim bait hook. Uh, a lot of anglers are fishing this like a weedless frog. You fish it over heavy mats of grass. Any hole in the mat, you just pause it and it will fall under the mat and the bite is pretty much instant. And also, we came up with a forward rigging spike for anglers that want to fish the craw in its natural walking position forward. Uh, we have a spike that sits a, along the bottom of the tail, comes through with a wire for nose hooking, so it's more than a one fish bait. It won't rip through the nose on a jump or on a hook set, so you can get multiple fish from one bait. With the legs, we designed it with two legs going forward two legs going backwards, so whether you fish this tail first on a stand-up jig head or uh, nose hooked, either way the direction this bait is going, you get uh, secondary actions through the legs. Uh, let me show you one in the water real quick. So this is a real natural pattern craw. Um, like I said, full stand-up defense. Once you start dragging the craw, he'll come down into his natural skittering action, and then he'll pop right back up into a defensive position. Barely come tight on them. You get lots of movements, legs, antennas, claws. It's available in seven colors. Uh, the large size will be a three pack for $9.99. The smaller size will be a four pack for the same price. Absolutely deadly on largemouth, spotted bass, smallmouth, anything that eats a crayfish. Um, our inshore testers have been killing redfish, speckled trout on this rig also. And also new for this year is our 3D uh, glide bait. This is our glide swimmer bait. It has an intense underwater side to side action on a steady wind, injured bait fish action on a twitch. So lots of direction changes with this bait. Comes in two sizes, five and a quarter inch, uh, three quarter ounce, five and a quarter inch, and a six and a quarter inch one ounce bait. And you just fell off the quick clip. <laughs> These have been deadly in California for about two years now and word's starting to get out about them. Also Savage Gears, our real trout, paddle tail, it comes in a five inch, seven inch, eight inch, and a new 11 inch size for this year. Um, we have it in a largemouth bass pattern, golden hitch, dark trout, and light trout. Most paddle tail swim baits, the head will stay in a stationary position with a lot of tail action. We wanted a bait that actually rocks, so you're, you're getting left-right movement um, as long as, and a forward through the water column movement. Lots of action. It's a 3D scan also. We exaggerated the fins so you get fin movement. So any bass trailing a bait, getting a close look at it, sees more than just tail and head movement. As in a natural trout, there's fin movements. Let's see. And we also have it in the bass pattern, five inch. This is deadly on an Alabama rig. We'll go uh, four of the five inch with one of the seven inch as a trailer. Again, aggressive head rocking, side to side motions. The five inch in the bass pattern has been our most popular color. Late springtime, after the spawn, bass are done guarding their fry. They become nomadic again and they will target their own kind. Also new this year from Savage Gear is our eight inch line through swim bait. It's a 3D scan of an actual rainbow trout. Most line through swim baits, the hooks just sit in the soft body material of the back. After casting all day, the hook starts reaching forward, reaching forward, trying to pull down into the harness. On our bait, it's actually hooked into the back of the harness, so it's in steadily, and but yet it releases easily. We have a nylon mesh that runs the entire length of the bait through the soft joints, so it'll cut down on ripping. And the action on these is absolutely deadly.
Right now this bait is available in light trout and dark trout color. We will be expanding this color line to a baby bass, a dirty silver, we're looking at herring colors. So look a lot more for the Savage 3D inline uh, trout bait. And the last thing I want to show you has been a well kept secret for the past couple years. It's our double, uh, double vertical rig. It uses two of our sand eel slugs, which are air filled baits. The first quarter of the bait is solid for where your hook goes through. The last section through the tails are all air filled. So even without any, any movement, there's still micro movements in the tail. The baits sit perfectly parallel. These are our micro darting jig heads. We tie them on a double rig. And when you get over brush piles, rock piles, alongside of uh, dock pilings, gives a intense wounded bait fish action. They're seeing two baits. We catch a lot of doubles on this. You'll hook one, following fish will quickly attack the other one. And it's definitely a look that none of the bass in any region have really seen. And it's been absolutely deadly for, for us on our deeper clear water California lakes where a lot of guys are drop shotting in 30, 40 feet of water. We're breaking out this double rig right behind them and cleaning house. It's also good on a cast. It's more than just vertical. You can cast these down a bank, same twitching action, and you get almost dual jerk baits coming down the bank. If you have any bass aggressively chasing bait fish, corralling bait fish, this is an easy way to score a quick limit. And uh, that's what we're working on for Savage Gear this year. And keep an eye out for us, and we're going to have a lot more exciting baits in the future.